photographers, if you've heard about Aperture but you're super confused about what all the numbers mean, don't worry, we've got you covered. Check out this super quick video and we'll explain it in simple terms. To start off with, let's make sure that we understand the definition of aperture. So if you've ever wondered what exactly is aperture, I've heard this word, but I'm not entirely sure what it means. I want you to understand that aperture in that term, it's actually referring to how large or how small the opening is in your camera's lens. So if you look at the image in um, on our screen right here, you'll see that the shutter is closing around a small circle in the middle. That is what we're talking about when we say aperture is that small circle. And um, as you change your aperture, the size of that opening or the size of that circle will change. So let's talk about what that looks like. When we're talking about aperture, a lot of times people get uh, very confused. Essentially what you want to remember is that a smaller aperture or a smaller opening will be had when you have a larger number. So you can see in the first image there where it says F16, you have a very small opening. So at a higher number, your aperture or your opening is smaller. And as that number goes down, F11, F8, F5.6, all the way to F2, you'll see that the aperture gets wider or the opening in your lens gets wider. So when you are taking images and you need more light um, into your photo, you can allow more light into your photo by making your aperture wider, which would be a smaller number. So this is contrary to the way a lot of people may naturally think about it. We may think um, wider aperture, wider is bigger, and so that should be a bigger number, but it's not. You just have to remember to flip those in your mind. And after a while, once you get this down, it's not hard to remember, it becomes second nature. But for now, when you're looking for a wider aperture or a wider opening, just remember that you want a smaller number. Now, aperture impacts mainly two things. As I just referenced, it impacts the light in your image, it impacts the exposure. So it's part of what we call the exposure triangle, which is aperture, ISO, and shutter speed. Using those three key elements, that's how you get the right exposure in your photos. And we talk about that more in some of our other videos. Aperture can also impact your depth of field. And so that's how much of your image is actually in focus. So how much of the foreground and how much of the background is in focus versus your subject. And we're gonna talk about both of those things in some of our other videos about aperture. So make sure that you check those out as well.